Good morning, y'all. I'm trying to keep a smile on my face. It's me again. I'm at work. I'm safe. Um, I want to say something really quickly. I thank the Lord for another day of life. But y'all, I don't know what's... I don't know what I've done. <laughs> but those love herbs, they're powerful. Uh, Cleopatra wasn't no joke, okay? I was on a train this morning, and y'all know I love my soul twin. It is the most... This is layers and layers and layers and layers and layers of just giddiness and, and love for one person that won't go away. And it's, it's, it's both ways. That's the good thing. It's not one-sided. So this morning, I had put some around my bed last night and put some on my doorstep to bring in love. And um, I was on a train this morning, and his energy was when I say heavy, it was like Cairo syrup. Here we go. Cairo syrup, molasses, welfare peanut butter. Wait a minute, don't laugh. Because when I was growing up, welfare was giving out big cans of peanut butter. And my cousin Junior, the one that's sick, very sick, he used to say you can make a choke, a choke sandwich with it. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all know I keep it real. My mother didn't get it, but a relative had some welfare peanut butter and it was thick. It was like um, nothing you've ever tasted. And, and my cousin would say they make choke sandwiches because you would choke when you was eating them, okay? That's for people who go back in the 80s and 90s. Wait a minute. Yeah, it was a early 80s, I think, or was it 70s, late 70s? No, uh, maybe early 80s, but anyway. The, 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 the energy was thicker than k roll and welfare peanut butter and molasses all in one. Now, he and I are on excellent terms, so there's no reason why it should be so heavy. But love between two people is, is supernaturally strong. It was so heavy until, y'all know, I muttered under my breath because I didn't want to bite on the train to think I was on crack or something, right? And I, I looked to the side, I said, so you're going to work with me, ain't you? <laughs> but I said it under my breath because the energy was so strong. I said, so you're going to work with me, ain't you? It was like he was sitting right next to me. How come, as soon as I say that the phone, the phone, I got a text from him. Mind you, we text each other every day or at least every other day, mostly every day, but it's not at that exact moment. I said, so you're going to work with me today. Bing! I don't know y'all, I don't know, I don't know, but uh, you need to get some, that's what I'm saying, it's only $7, I ain't trying to sell you nothing, I don't need $7, I'm trying to help out, um, I sent out one this morning, um, just trust me y'all, I know what I'm talking about, okay, and other than that, who is this messaging me? This one lady that has no life and she's always, I don't like people who always on social media. That freaks me out. Like you, you don't go to sleep. Like you don't go to sleep, do you? It's annoying and it's scary because the minute I post something, which is now every blue moon, cause I'm so busy, busy, busy. Before I can click on post, you already liking it and commenting. I'm not going to go back and, and reply to your 30,000 comments is something you got to have a you got to be balanced I, I don't I, sh, I see signs of un, unhealthy mentality and 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 this person is unhealthy mentally and they're getting on my nerves to be honest like let one post go by I don't like that I don't smother myself over nobody y'all and that's something else I want to tell you people don't want you to be all over them don't don't play y'all the quickest way to push somebody away is to be all over them just let it be and if it's gonna happen it's gonna happen let them know you love them let them know you care but all of that what you doing where you going when we gonna do that just let them pull the reins let if it's a masculine men are the hunters let them run the show for a minute not run the show like take your money but you know what I mean let them let them lead the relationship okay I know you want your person, but you gotta let you gotta let it 
play out where it lasts forever, okay? Um, that's it, okay? I just told the number 13, I don't know. But y'all, that that those those love herbs. If you want some, send me um email at intuitivequeenshar at gmail.com. I'm gonna bring those to work also. I should have brought an oil. One of my girls ordered oil, but they're at home. But I'll bring them tomorrow. My baby girl, uh, pretty red hair, I call her. She'll get her shipped out tomorrow. And y'all, if you stick with me, if things go according to God's will, and if you stick with me, I'm not going to steer you wrong. I'm, I, like I said, I'm not on here for no motive. I don't need $25. I don't need $7. That's all to help you all, okay? I love you all. Take care.